Kim is someone that has been uh, very aggressively involved in, in criminal justice reform for a long time. Uh, she certainly influences a lot of people, much like John Legend, Common, that have been, you know, quite frankly, quite a few people in the entertainment industry that have been right up there with this. And, and Kim is someone that, that could be an inspiration to a lot of people. So I'm really excited uh, to be able to work with her. Uh, you know, we think alike in many things concerning the system. And the reality is that what we need to do is increase and get our message out. We need to educate public and people like Kim can be in, incredibly uh, instrumental in educating our, our community, especially young people. If she was uh, someone that was in a different place, uh, I would not be interested. I mean, there are other people that are very influential, but I would never approach uh, because we disagree. Uh, the reason why it would be, I think, incredibly valuable for both of us is because we believe that the criminal justice system needs to be reimagined, and then she has the reach. Can you talk about the fact that you don't want to prosecute most misdemeanors now? That's a big deal. Yeah, look, I mean, if you look, I, th I think the problem is that for the last 30, 40 years, we, we sort of became this carceral society, where we increasingly criminalize more and more behavior, mostly uh, obviously impacting poor people, uh, African-Americans and Latinos. And we've forgotten that actually that's not the way our country always worked. You know, back in 1980, uh, California had 23,000 people in the state prison system. By 1990, we had uh, over 90,000. And after three strikes in 1994, by 1999, we had 160,000. We kept criminalizing behavior over and over and over again. And what I'm trying to do is kind of right size the system again, understand that a lot of the low level misdemeanors are driven by mental health problems, by poverty, and that putting somebody in a concrete box is not gonna fix that problem. We need to actually intervene and send people into other verticals like mental health and housing and social services, which are more likely to, to alleviate the problem. And quite frankly, uh, reduce the likelihood that the person is going to continue to be real friendly.